so I have been thinking, should I make this video or should I not make this video? And I have come to the conclusion that, you know, as of how I'm feeling right now, that, you know, maybe I should make this video. So to make a long story short, my grandmother died from the coronavirus uh, one week ago. And it's it's been a rough couple of days for me and my family, a really rough week. Uh, we're all devastated, sad, upset, and, you know, we loved her. She was such an amazing person. But... Um, I don't really think I, we have time had time to process all it be, because it, it happened so fast. You know, she wasn't feeling too good, so we took her to the hospital, and then two to three days later, you know, she's she's pronounced dead. And it, it it's been tough. It's been tough, really. But I think it's hard to you know comprehend that you know she's actually gone because it, it happened so fast. But, you know, I thought maybe this video, I should make this video be more than just me telling you guys that my grandmother is dead. Um, I wanted this video to tell all you guys that, you know, stay home. I want to keep swinging that point home. I know I don't have the biggest outreach and I don't pull that many views a video. But, you know, if I can reach the few people, maybe that I reach. And to tell them how this virus, you know, can affect people. You know, that feel like that is my obligation in some way. Because, you know, I've seen the coronavirus and its effect uh, firsthand now. You know, I was in the room the same the day she called us all in to say, you know, it's it's time to say goodbye now. So, you know, we went there and I saw her and, 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 it, and it wasn't good. Uh, over 40 degree fever and that cough of hers that she had, I, you know, you don't joke that away. That was a nasty cough that she had. Uh, she wasn't looking too good at all. So I want to keep swinging the point home that so many experts say that, you know, stay home. I'm not going to get into the details of my grandmother and how it all happened. And I don't know how it happened. Maybe she got infected by someone who who knew they had the coronavirus or maybe they didn't know because, you know, they're telling you that you, you have you can have these symptoms. Or you can't, or maybe you don't have any symptoms at all. Symptoms at all. We don't know anything about this virus, but you know, in these times where we gotta be extra careful, I think that's what we should do until this all kind of. I don't know if it, it will blow, if it will blow over, but as of right now, we kind of have to make sacrifices so we can have fun later. So, if you have symptoms. Stay at home, please. Slightest symptoms, stay home. And if you if you must go shopping, you know, maybe go to the store, shop a little more than you need to, so you don't have to go back the next day and possibly infect other people. Uh, and, you know, if you can work from home, please do that. And if you can, you know, work with your schoolwork at home, do that. I don't really know what to say besides, you know, be careful, stay home if you really can, and don't go meet with friends in the cafeteria, don't go to a cafe with friends, don't go to a restaurant with friends. I know we Sweden, we, we, we're, we're so dumb, some people who sit at the cafe and the restaurants and tell them, you know, as long as I don't have it, you know, I don't really care. Uh, now that we know that, you know, you either have symptoms or maybe you don't have any symptoms, you know, you can infect either way. I want to tell all of you to, you know, please don't do any of the stuff. Don't go to cafes, don't go to restaurants, don't go to work if you can work from home and all that. Because, you know, you may end up killing someone else's grandmother in the process. You never know. I mean, I have been self-quarantining for like the past 10 years or something. I haven't, I haven't moved out of this room. But, you know, please be careful out there and look out for your people. Uh, um, you know, if you have an older relative or friend, maybe, you know, tell them that, you know, I can go shop for you if you really need to. Because, you know, the older people are in the in the risk zone, so to speak. I know I've been ranting for five minutes now. I just want to swing the point home that I haven't been uploading because my grandmother has died. She got infected some way. I don't know how. Um... It's terrible nonetheless. But you know, care for your 
<laughs> fellow humans. Uh, work from home if you can. Don't shop as often as you, you know, need to, and all that. I don't really. This isn't really a structured video. I think you have gotten the point. Go out as little as you can, and don't go out with friends and eat at restaurants, cafes. Don't go to concerts. Don't do any of that stuff. Be careful out there, because you know you may infect someone else's grandmother, like I said, or you may infect some child, or you may infect some other adult. You don't know if you have the coronavirus or not because you know does it come through air does it go through water does it go through touch you know we don't know anything so be careful in this time listen to the experts and yeah I don't really know what else to say I think I got my, my point through here um, so you know this is Saku Taku take care of each other out there don't go out unless you really, really have to. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. Bye now.